going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose record a new software simulation. I'm going to choose custom from my modes and I'm going to turn off everything else. So I'm going to click settings. I'm going to change the mode to custom. I'm going to click restore defaults at the bottom left just to make sure that nothing is turned on. Nothing up my sleeve here. And you're going to turn on three things. Add text captions. Add click boxes. Failure caption. Now, if I don't explain what you just turned on, all you successfully done just now, Aaron, is followed instructions. We don't teach that way. We tell you why you're supposed to do this. So let's talk about the why. Add the text captions are going to include the instructions that you want your learner to do on screen. If you're not happy with the verbiage after the recording process, you can edit the content in those captions. It is never too late. Add click boxes on mouse click so that your learner will be able to do whatever was they were told to do in the caption. So there'll be instructions on the screen. There'll be a way to actually do it. And there will be a failure caption. If you're not happy with the failure message inside those captions, you can customize it any way you want. But fair warning, you should keep those failure messages as vanilla as possible. Never, what are you, some kind of dummy or anything like that. Now, personally, Stacy, if you wrote that kind of caption saying, come on, dummy, I would start laughing. I think that'd be hysterical. But I have never actually been able to do that for a, for a client thinking, eh, I'm going to get into trouble, so we don't do it. So I think keep them very vanilla. So I'm going to click OK to that, and that is all you have to do. Because if this checkbox is turned on, your next and final recording is going to be 100% interactive with basically the hints at the same time. So I'm going to click Record. All right, so I'm going to go back and just run my whole script again. File. Page setup. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. I just press end. Wait for it, Shannon. I'm going to preview the project. Now, was anybody in the room unable to do this? Were any of you unable to do it? Can you give me a hand raise if you were like, man, I was only able to watch this? I got something for you in case that is the case. Give me a hand raise if any one of you were not able to do it. I'm hoping you were all able to do it, right? Got her done. All right, David. Awesome. Hey, um, uh, Stacy, unmute right quick, would you please? Yes. All right, so on my screen, what is the lesson telling the learner to do? Um, click the file menu item. Yeah. Now, do you notice that the screen is waiting for the learner to do it? Yes. I'm your worst possible student, Stacey. So what do you think I'm going to do? You're going to sit there and not read it? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I guess that's true. I could have done that. No, I'm, I'm one who doesn't follow instructions, so I might click elsewhere, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I could. I, I'll show you. I'm just going to sit here. I, I, that is true. I guess that could happen. That's probably going to be about 1% of your audience. Look, there's going to be a percentage of your e learning audience that just doesn't want to cooperate. And so they're just going to sit there. But I'm talking to the 99%. So I'm going to click view. What happened there, Stacy? It gives you a hint. So you got a hint. Your message. You can, you see that? Reminds you where to go. Yeah. Now, can I customize the words and the way that captions look if I want to? Because it's transparent right now. I think it'd look better, but like red. But could could I do all that? What do you guys think? Yeah. Not, not just Stacy. Yeah. Anybody? Yes, you can. Any? You can. I'm just not going to show it now. That's part of the beginner class. But yeah, you can do it. But the bottom line is, eventually, I'm going to realize I should probably click file. 